Welcome to Open Evo. We are scientists, teachers, and students working together to reimagine and cultivate a new direction for evolution education. We believe interdisciplinary perspectives in evolutionary anthropology can serve as a foundation for increasing understanding and acceptance of the science of evolutionary change in our everyday lives and global society. For almost a decade now, we have been advocating that the evolution of human behavior, cognition, and culture should be at the center of general education curriculum and school design globally. We argue that human behavior should be taught as an interdisciplinary theme, that evolution should be taught as an interdisciplinary science, and we argue that students, teachers, and parents, whole school communities, can use insights from the interdisciplinary human sciences to better co-design those changeable aspects of their own school cultures and environments that matter most to them. Against this background, we have also suggested that some within the mainstream of evolution education and evolution education research are perhaps climbing the wrong mountain when it comes to the central aims and basic conceptual frameworks of effective learning experiences in evolutionary sciences. We suggest that a gene-centered evolution education, that is, defining the concept of evolution solely in the genetic domain, is insufficient for scientific literacy in the 21st century. We argue that we need to rethink the basic conceptual frameworks and communication heuristics that are commonplace in the evolution education landscape, that we need to replace idealized gene environment models with a more explicit emphasis on illuminating how developmental systems evolve at multiple levels of organization and across multiple dimensions. In short, we are suggesting that modern conceptualizations in cultural evolution offer a steeply underexplored strategy for improving evolution education. However, our argument is not just relevant for the evolution education community. We also use a different landscape metaphor to suggest that the basic structure of most school curricula present a challenge to our vision. As in higher education, interdisciplinary teaching and learning in general education is difficult in part because learning is siloed into disciplinary subject areas. What students learn about the human condition in biology class may or may not comport with what they learn in economics, ethics, or civics and politics. Instead, we suggest that we need to, and can, create an interdisciplinary island of understanding the human condition that a central focus on the human experience concepts of behavior, cognition, and culture can serve as a unifying nexus and bridge across the traditional islands of disciplinary learning. Importantly, no matter which metaphor we use, we are suggesting that we in the educational landscape need to rethink our geography, and most critically, we need to get busy exploring these new territories. We view Open Evo as the digital base camp for climbing this mountain of interdisciplinary evolutionary learning. It's a place to get coffee, get fueled up, pick up a few new tools, some friends, and start climbing as high as you care to within this rapidly evolving landscape. Open Evo is based on a very foundational scientific line of reasoning. Namely, if we want to understand teaching and learning about evolution as an interdisciplinary science, we need a knowledge synthesis on teaching and learning about evolution across disciplinary sciences and subject areas. This knowledge synthesis is constrained by data structure, how we organize the knowledge that drives teaching and learning practices that favor or hinder an interdisciplinary approach. And this data structure is further constrained by the conceptual structure, or the specific concepts and conceptual relationships that are entailed by the concept of evolution as an interdisciplinary science. That is, how scientists and everyday humans think about these issues in the first place. With this in mind, we've begun to advance an ecosystem of tools, models, and frameworks for supporting the structural needs of our proposed knowledge synthesis. To operationalize this educational design concept within school contexts, we have also begun to develop two interdependent lab models. 
an educational design lab in which students and pre-service teachers engage questions of curriculum design and work to improve a database of interdisciplinary teaching resources. And then our community science lab in which students work with teachers and scientists to investigate, understand, and improve their school culture and local community through a community-based cultural evolution framework called ProSocial Schools. We have previously developed these lab models in a largely offline traditional classroom setting. On OpenEvo, these labs come to life within a supportive digital context of our research and learning hubs, allowing for continued lab model improvement and spread. Our research hub is actually a network of relational databases to organize and synthesize the collective pedagogical content knowledge, or CPCK. This is the collective field of understanding how and what to teach when teaching and learning about evolution as an interdisciplinary science. Our teaching base includes a rich diversity of online and offline teaching resources and plans across grades and subject areas. Our study base allows students of all ages and skills to contribute to a global database of community science and educational design studies within the OpenEvo vision. Our concept base supports the networked knowledge synthesis on the cross-cultural conceptual development of understanding evolution as an interdisciplinary science. Other bases within the OpenEvo system support and enhance these core functions in evolving an educational innovation ecosystem. In a very real sense, this research hub infrastructure will allow for the longitudinal and comparative study of the cultural evolution of teaching and learning about human evolution, behavior, cognition, and culture. Our learning hub is built on the open source professional standard Moodle to optimize university-based teacher education integration and usage, as well as the ease of collaborative educational research within the platform. By structuring this Moodle platform around a refined educational design concept, we are bringing university scale computing power to tackle the networked challenges of teaching human behavior as an interdisciplinary theme and teaching evolution as an interdisciplinary science. We have structured this learning hub around four strategic areas. Our OpenEvo platform module orients new collaborators to the system and provides basic training in using the Moodle. This is also where the core modules for our educational design and community science labs reside. Our subject area core modules are most in development and will serve as a hub for knowledge synthesis around teaching evolution within specific subject area disciplines, ranging from science to social studies, civics to physical education and beyond. Our featured modules space is where we are developing our collection of self-study and institution-based synchronous e-learning experiences curated by scientists and educators to bring the leading edge of interdisciplinary evolution and human sciences into classrooms around the world. Lastly, our field site modules are where school and university communities can self-identify as field sites for the community-based cultural evolution of those things they care most about. Allow me to share just a bit more about some of our featured and field site modules. Our interdisciplinary teacher training course, Human Behavior and Sustainable Development, is designed for teacher training students from across subject areas and cultural backgrounds to explore the core concepts of evolution, behavior, and sustainability science. Furthermore, the focus is on exploring content and methods for teaching these concepts in primary and secondary school contexts. The course concept is continuously developed and adapted in collaboration with teacher training institutes. The module has now been running successfully for several semesters at University of Leipzig, and more recently also at the Pedagogical Institute of Bern in Switzerland. A related module, currently in its second semester run at the University of Leipzig Primary School Science Education Group, Evolutionary Anthropology in the Primary School Classroom, provides pre-service primary school teachers with core concepts and tools for teaching evolution as an interdisciplinary science 
to even the youngest of students, covering classic topics in early child evolution education from a biological perspective this module is unique also in engaging students in the critical transfer of evolution concepts across the domains of human development, behavior, cognition, and culture. The last of our featured modules in development that we'll highlight here is our EMU project. Music is a deeply meaningful component of the everyday lives of many students around the world, and yet they are rarely afforded the opportunity to learn the science behind this complex cultural phenomena. EMU is an educational research and development network within the Open Evo context to advance teaching and learning about the evolution of music as an interdisciplinary theme in general education. We are just now beginning to organize our scientific advisory board around the development of a core self-study module, and we'll then seek to grow this work within multiple disciplinary area teacher education groups around the world. Teacher education groups and teachers interested in developing their own skills and capacities for teaching and learning about the concepts and processes of Open Evo and partner projects can apply to develop a field site module to house and grow the community-based cultural evolution field site concept within their own educational community. The specific model we are developing within our community science lab in Leipzig emphasizes a student-driven, place-based approach to field site development. That means that student-driven interests emerge within an interdisciplinary innovation ecosystem of teaching and learning about solving problems through understanding the human condition. Within this digital environment, School and city field site concepts are structured around the work of Kate Rayworth's Donut Economics and the Donut Economics Action Lab, or DEAL, their city portrait and community portrait model for understanding human thriving and ecological sustainability at local and global levels. This structure further supports collaboration across grades and institutions in a region towards the shared aim of data synthesis within this deal portrait model for, for sustainability. Importantly, such work is a valued educational project in itself and also provides a local platform for the growth of further issue-specific sustainable community development projects. We hope this has been a helpful overview of our ambitious yet scalable aims within OpenEvo. This is not a project that can be done by lone individuals or institutions, and so we welcome collaborators from across sectors, disciplines, cultures, ages, and interests. If you are concerned with evolving a more interdisciplinary education system grounded in a deep understanding of the human condition, cultural diversity, and individual flexibility, then join us in cultivating this new capacity for collective action and knowledge building. 